Get Into Gate. This is episode 82. We are talking Stargate SG-1 and the episode 2010. My name is Mitch. Joining me, the full Get Into Gate team. We got Maddie. Yo. We got Brendan. And we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Reese. One of my yeah, g'day, guys. And he's back again. We oh, can't Lincoln. get rid of him. It's Lincoln. Lincoln. Hey. Hey. We can't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> we got up at four in the morning and he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was you, the wake up? Guess, yeah. guess you're shit. not coming in tomorrow morning. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love to be here, but God, that sucks. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. So I was, I was with. So my girlfriend was like, all right, I want to come in and listen to the podcast. And I was like, yeah, sweet. Okay, yeah, come on do that and we planned it all that said i'm going to bring a pillow a blanket so you can sit there and you can if you want to drift off you can listen this and that we woke up this morning and i'm like all right darling you ready to go we're leaving in five minutes and she's like weren't we kidding i, like, <laughs> <laughs> I left about like, later that what? night you're actually getting up at 4 a.m yeah no this this was like uh quarter past four i was like we're leaving in five minutes i'm picking up mitch in 10 minutes and she's just like Oh, well, how long are we going to be there? I was like, look, you stay here and sleep in for the both of us. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be back later. She's like, yeah, love you. Oh, I'm sorry, Lincoln. Mm. I knew I was joking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was yeah, laughing about it in my sleep. Yeah. And Lincoln's like, it's 2010. I can't miss it. Yeah. No, <laughs> hell no. No, no. Not missing that. 2010, uh, I've been excited. I've been, when I found out this was in season four, I was one of the ones I'm really looking forward to. It's one of the ones that really sticks out of my memory of SG-1 for whatever mm-hmm. reason. Let's see why, and let's see uh, what uh, Reese thought of it. A decade in the future, Earth's alliance with a highly intelligent race of aliens has rendered SGC obsolete. But when Carter, now married to a human ambassador to the aliens, uncovers a terrifying secret about these benevolent beings, she must reassemble SG-1 to send an urgent message to the past. I don't know if I've ever read that synopsis before in my life. It's interesting, yes. Wow. Yeah. I love this episode. Yeah. So oh, guys, can we just take a time out to give Brad Wright a round of a f***ing applause? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. Like, man, and I've said it before on this podcast, I'm banged on about Travellers, but this is the exact writing that makes me love Travellers. Mm. It's just got, it just reminds, like, it, it, give, it gives you the setup, and like 30 seconds in, you already know that this is not a world that we're used to, but you already are finding out so mu- so many things. Carter sits down with some random bloke. Oh, and you immediately you... think he's a douche. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this guy? Who's the handbag? Yeah. yeah. And then within 30 <laughs> seconds, you know that they're together. They're trying to have a baby. There's this new alien uh, race that's, uh, you know, mm. merged with Earth. Yeah, and this big mad TV with Kinsey's chatting away yeah. and telling yeah. you. Stargate's like, now like in an airport. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah, teleport. SG1. They can teleport. They can yeah. teleport. SG1 finally worldwide. Everyone knows about this. Worldwide. SG like, worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Boats and hose. <laughs> Gates and hose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just like, yeah, that was like first couple of minutes you just realised that, hey, this is a brand new, mm. brand new world mm. and it's Earth. So, okay, but when they introduce you to, I mean, the first person we've seen in this episode is her husband. You don't know who this bloke is until <sighs> Carter sits down down and says, oh, hey, honey, or whatever they call yeah. each other. You're like, okay, they're friendly. Mm. And then you realize that they're married. Mm. Now, when we've seen episodes like this in the past where they're suddenly acting different towards each other or they've got different relationships and things, it's like beneath the surface where it starts and they're workers on an yeah. alien planet and you're like, oh, okay, what's going to happen? How, who's who's caught them? Or that one where they got put into those VR machines by the um, the bloke and the giant gamekeeper. guy, the gamekeeper, mm. right? So did you think it was anything like that? I mean, obviously, you pro- I guess you saw the episode title before you started watching the episode? Yeah, yeah, that is yeah a right. Giveaway. Yeah. So, yeah, like 1969, but... Um, but yeah, it was a little bit like that. And I think the difference is, and I remember saying beneath in Beneath the Surface, I didn't really like it because I was so confused, so in the dark about all, you know, what was going on and what yeah. was going to happen. But with this one, I think you got the you got the initial setup, but you got answers straight away. Mm. And then you got the reveal and the resolution of the episode was the was what was drawn out. Mm. And I like that you you un, like like I said, the first five minutes, you understood what was happening. You got the plot, you got the story, and you got the problem. And then they can spend the rest of the episode finding out how to fix it, or you know, mm-hmm. doing what they need to do. And I think, oh man, it was just, yeah, well, it was, see, it was just awesome. What you just said there is basically my feelings about it. When, but instead of beneath the surface, it's I compare it to there, but for the grace of God, our, you know, going Uh-oh. going going way back. Uh-oh. I brought it up. I brought it up then. <laughs> what one of the reasons I don't like there, but for the grace of God is because I compare it to this episode and I love this this episode so much more. 
Like, to me, it's like 2010 just, like, walked up behind there, but for the grace of God, like, ankle tapped it, sat on it, mushed its face in the dirt and went, how you like me now, bitch? Yeah, but why do you liken it to that? Yeah. Well, in the same way that, like, you were saying with Beneath the Service, you don't get answers and, and this is just so much better written, a so much better written version of that. Right. I feel like that way with um, There But For The Grace Of God. I feel like that this is so much better than There But For The Grace Of God because yeah. it is, in a very similar way, it's it's an alternate reality kind of kind of situation. But I just, as far as alternate reality episodes go, I really prefer this than what I do to um, There But For The Grace Of God. Yeah, right. Yeah. But they had the mirror. No, but your main, your <laughs> yeah, but this main is more issue like is a, a possible future, not, mm, not a parallel, timeline, not a parallel but, but universe. What he's saying is, it, it's, it a, is, it's yeah, an alternate. It is. It's an alternate. No, but it's, it's ten years timeline. in the future. If you're talking about a parallel, you're talking about the same same time. Yeah, but yeah, I think, but in, from, the, in the same way, sorry, Reese. Yeah. But in the same way, there, but for the grace of God, we were seeing just because it was in our present, we were seeing a different. Um, universe, the the main dif- focal difference point being Daniel Jackson never joined the Stargate program. What we're seeing in this episode is we run into the Ashen now, and in 10 years' time, that's the outcome. Yeah. Whereas in there, before the grace line. of God, it was two years ago, Daniel didn't join the program, and here we are now. So it's the same yeah, thing. I'd... Alternate realities and no, alternate timelines. No, it's not the same thing. Alternate realities and alternate this timelines the... are the same thing. We're just seeing this one from a different perspective. We're no, seeing but... it from the future. Point. No, because this is, a di- this is an alternate timeline within our reality. That is within yeah. a parallel reality with a different timeline right. as well. And so the, they and, are And at the end of the episode, the second that, that piece of paper went through the Stargate, yeah. we are now in an alternate reality to 2010. Alternate timeline. Yeah, that, we've altered the timeline. We've, that's we've split gone that, now. We've split that timeline, which it was going, and then we've changed it and created it's a new same one reality. within the same reality. So if we were to take yeah. our future selves and put it now, we would still coexist. But if you took, like it, with the uh, with the, the, the warping or whatever it was, when Carter was in the reality with the Carter as well, that she was like warping in and out of phase mm. and she was struggling or whatever. Yeah. If you were to take someone from our future, Future timeline, and put it now. You would still coexist, where like the energies from different yeah, but, realities. Yeah, but so. if you if you believe the multi worlds theory, like the the infinite infinite possibilities, yeah. like infinite universes out there, where every um, uh, decision there's a there's a universe where that happened. There's a there's a universe yeah. where it didn't happen. We are just now in a different universe to what it was. Take the time element out of it because we're just viewing it from a different. We're viewing it as someone in two thousand looking mm. in twenty ten. Whereas, think about it, if there but for the grace of God, we travelled through the quantum mirror from the movie to now, it's the exact same thing. It's just in the TV show, we're viewing it from current time, whereas for us... Uh, watching 2010, it's the future for us. It's the same thing. Yeah, but I think if no. you... Yeah, I think you're right in terms of... So in, in your theory, which is probably correct, even though Carter threw that bit of paper through the wormhole, mm. that doesn't that universe doesn't cease to exist? No, that universe well they, they cease to exist, but there is still gonna be a universe out there where there's gonna be there's gonna be Yeah, another, that'll be the alternate reality. There's gonna be another alternate universe out there where they never succeeded, where that paper didn't go through the paper and they just keep going. Yeah, and, that's an and, alternate yeah, reality. That's the alternate reality. Yeah. Yeah. And we're talking alternate. I, 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 think, will, I will stand firm actually... in this. Alternate realities <laughs> yeah. and alternate timelines, I think, are two completely different things. No, they're not. It, the timeline element of it is based, it's all relative. It, it's in terms of where you, what perspective you're viewing it from. I think we're all agreeing on the same thing. It's just we're getting hung up on the terminologies. Yeah. Like, but, I think we're, in terms of comparing this to there, but for the grace of God, it's, you know, tomato, tomato, really. But when you talk, I always compare this to more like 1969 because because of the technology that we're using for time travel, whereas the quantum mirror is a quantum mirror, there but for the grace of God and versus point of view. I think that's the main reason Reese was confused is why you're comparing to that. Well, 20, I, think, yeah. I think you guys are getting to, humbled. Okay, so an alternate, uh, the quantum mirror takes us to an alternate reality mm. at the same point in time. Yeah. The Stargate can take us to an alternate reality in different points in time. No, it takes There's, you to a different time part of our timeline. Yeah, right. And same in, reality. And in this reality. situation, we proved that we can create alternate timelines out of it because we went back in time and changed the past. Yes. Yeah. We win. <laughs> <laughs> you just explained your own theory away. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't change the reality. <laughs> the reality of it is 2010 was, was, the, that was what was going to happen. Right, and that's what has happened. That's gone through. So that's our reality. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't jump sideways to a different reality <laughs> yeah. just to change Completely it. Completely different universe. But that's what I'm saying. We it's, went around the sun and back. It's about perspective. You guys are thinking about it just jumping universes no. at the exact same point in time. You're right in the fact that if Carter threw that bit of paper through, so that created an alternate timeline. 
You're yeah, correct yeah, in saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's also an alternate universe. Yeah. Okay. Possibly. Fair enough. I, I, I really want to ask agree that. To, doc, agree to disagree. I want to ask Dr. Doc, what's his name? Dr. Carl or someone like that. He, <laughs> yeah. I want to ask that guy. Dr. Carl. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that guy's name is. Only, he, he ta- Brian Cox. Yeah. The, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Just yeah. ask him. <laughs> Let's just ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. Stuff <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, but. Um, no, I think, I, I think you're right. Once, once Carter threw that, it created an alternate timeline and yep, therefore. Changed everything. It is, in theory, an alternate universe. I right. Think. And then there's also another alternate universe where that piece of paper never went through the Stargate. Yeah, but that's. And that's in just, an alternate that's reality. That's an alternate reality. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so but there's, origin- there's, there's I think also we're all the same. Yeah, that's what I said. We're all saying the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, just like you guys originally... getting hung up on terminology. Yeah, yeah, but I, like that's but the ultimate. Yeah, for me, I guess. Yeah, but you're saying you can look at it from any perspective, but we're looking at it from the perspective of our universe, yeah. not an alternate one. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, yeah, I, guess originally- I guess because we're focusing on that, whereas like you, you said, yeah, there is an alternate universe, an alternate reality where, universes. yeah, no, that's something I know, but it's like you guys they- are Rick and Morty fans, you should be all over that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, mm. there is an alternate universe out there where that paper didn't go through, but there was also one out there where the Yashen didn't make a sterile. They're actually coming along with Uzis and just mowed everyone down. There's also another one <laughs> yeah. out there Space where, 12, Hammond, bro. where Hammond, <laughs> Hammond hey, Space 12, where Hammond actually broke the neck of his assassin. You know, like there's, but who gives a f- who gives and what happened in any of those things? Because it doesn't matter what we're just, I guess. Speaking on our one, I don't know if it matters well, anyway. Ripple effect. Let's, yeah, well, let's, let's talk about it in I, season I agree nine. With you, Mitch, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it in season yeah, nine yeah, for yeah, ripple effect. Yeah, no, see, but like totally, but as soon as like the the multiverse theory is, as soon as you make a decision, you probably made a different you've, decision. You've cr- so you've created a fork in the road. You've created a new yeah. universe. Yeah. So yeah, but originally, yeah. what my question was was um why do you why do you not like um never for the grace of God but like this one? I think the main gripe because of what you said the. Yeah, yeah, um, but the main gripe that you had um, for There But the Grace of God was because the characters in the alternate universe you didn't care for. Mm. So why did you care for the characters in this episode? Ooh, zinger. Because, because they... they're our timeline. Boom! Yay! See what happens? <laughs> See what just f***ing happened? <laughs> Yeah, ours, yeah. Oh, Matt, Matty's, 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 Matty's oh, I, I like this. I want this. I want this. Mine's going I'm in warp speed. I'm waiting for the hype to die down. Let's do this Give him a hug. Give him a hug. I like these characters because they are closer to my. My Carter, they are my your, Daniel. Yeah, she is your Carter. But Carter they're not Daniel. because... Tilt doesn't have a ponytail. <laughs> okay, so what what, uh, uh, what year did uh, Continuum take place? Yes, but... 2009? That... When did that come out? When did Continuum come out? The, the yeah, last but you SG1 created thing. a new timeline there. When did that come out? When did... Yeah, I think That's like that. 2009? Eight right. Nine, yeah. She's still my Carter. But she's an alternate Carter to the Carter from 2010. Is oh, she I not? I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, but yeah, so far, so far... 2010 Carter is our Carter. Yeah, up until she throws that bit of paper through the window, that is, that is your Carter. Carter. Yeah, but as you watch this episode as a singular thing, she is an alternate Carter. Well, she's not. She's our Carter. No, she's the same. She is our Carter. The alternate she Carter is, is the, the one at the end that picks up the paper. Mm. Right, and that's the Carter that we follow all yeah. the way through to Continuum. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they're the both, they're both Carter. my Carter. But 2010 the Carter people oh, yeah, are no, alternate yeah. timeline. They are this timeline. I think we were saying that. After this episode, Carter. that's an alternate. Right, yeah. but that's you don't. So, do you consider that the 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 SG one that we've been following for the last four seasons mm. now no longer exists, and this is a completely well, Jad, new different. By your theory, they do. Well, they're dead, but that 2010 storyline continues forever. But we've created a new one, an yes. alternate 1985. Yes. Yeah. Within that's the same what I've reality. been saying this whole time. You can't create a new reality within your reality. No, it's you can a, create a, a new timeline within reality. the same reality. I want to Google this yeah. shit. That's not a bad, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's not a bad way to put it. Go and ask Jeeves. He's all got I'm, it. All I'm Just saying Jeeves. is twenty, like Baron 2010 Carter in this episode. Go to findarama.net. Baron 2010 Carter in this episode is Baron. universally different from Carter from Continuum because they've the last 10 years have been completely different. Yeah, she's different. got long hair in Continuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they are both my Carters because yeah. for the most part they are the same. That yeah. civilian Carter yeah. from uh, De- um, There But For The Grace Of God or from Point Of View, I don't give a shit about those yeah, bitches. That's, yeah, that's yeah, they were, making, they yeah. were making poor decisions. That's why I don't yeah, like Yeah, because they're alternate yeah, reality. Yeah, that's yeah, alternate yeah. reality. Yeah, yeah, we go. Yeah. Yeah, which is... 
which is Whereas what this is. this one's just an alternate timeline. That's why you <laughs> yeah, love her. All right. How cool no, is the concept of a <laughs> interstellar starport, though? <laughs> What's that? Oh, treating like it a like starport. An airport. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like an that's airport. Cool, yeah. oh, if yeah. you're going along to the uh, constellation yeah. of this, you know, if you just uh, like to step up in front of the gate, it's like, what? <laughs> this yeah. is commercial now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Sick. People, yeah, traveling to Chulak, leaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please gather at the departure. If you would like to go to the pool planet, you're a departure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Everyone, stick your ass through now. <laughs> <laughs> I can I just, just imagine that. they have, like, um, they should have put it outside and just have rubbish trucks. Back up to it and just empty everything into yeah, it. Yeah, into the cool oh, planet. Like, yeah. oh, um, <laughs> f- you guys, no, well, they're, thousands they're of years. They've been destroyed. They've all been oh, as you see. Well, as yeah. I see, you're still dumping at their planet. Yeah, the first ones. Take that, Unas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> or you know what Fills else? Fills up that lake that he lives near. <laughs> if you go, if you dial in from another planet and just chuck your rubbish into the vent horizon. A vent horizon. Yep. Like see, that, oh. solves, that solves all oh, our that, problems. It's going to take so long. Well, sure. Put all the rubbish in a vortex. Oh, Walter's going to love that. you got two seconds to put the world dialing. rubbish in a vortex. <laughs> oh, okay. No, not Next in a vortex. One, dial it up. It's going to cost $20 billion to turn this on again. Yeah, but just think <laughs> about how many times Walter gets gone. to say Chevron <laughs> yeah. 7 locked. Yeah. He's going to be all, He's going to be pushing that. Yeah. No, but I'm saying, like, you well, know, imagine well, you every know, SG days. team, right? They, they, they dial out. It's like you go on a mission, but you've got to carry, like, three garbage bags with you. As soon as you get, <laughs> as soon as you get to the other get side, just chuck it straight back in. You're all doing your bit, guys. You're all doing your bit. Yeah, right, you pick up a bag of rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> chuck it through. You have your that. suitcase and a bag of rubbish. You, Why don't yeah, they put perfect. off-world uh, stargate a, above a volcano, above a sun, or something like above that? Above a volcano, right close to a sick. sun, so that just goes <laughs> in and just gets yeah. absolutely you like just vaporized. Chuck all your rubbish in, entry. goes yeah, into a volcano. Yeah, you, yeah, probably yeah, couldn't, you probably couldn't. You probably couldn't. What about so cars? Uh, oh. Moon, that oh, moon yeah. planet. You know where it looked like hell or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Boom! Put a stargate over top of that. You're good to go. Yeah. Well, just find a world where they eat our rubbish. It's animals that eat mm. our rubbish. Mm. There'll be one out there. Yeah, yeah Ibis. <laughs> <laughs> the planet Ibis. <laughs> the Ibis there is an Egyptian Ibis god. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right about that. Planet it. bin sure. chicken. That was the, uh, <laughs> that's the fall of the Egyptian dynasty is because the Ibis started to get worse. <laughs> you see an Ibis when we with the mini symbol on its head. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't just, surprise just, me. Just a, like a, a, a tipped over can or something like that. <laughs> shit, like bin juice spilling out the side of it. That's the Ibis' worship symbol. But I gotta say, for this episode, I, I was having to think about it last night about how I wanted to comprehend how I was going to say it. The writing of Stargate is so great at, at, at like expanding um, uh, the creativity of thinking of all these different storylines and everything like that. Stuff that is just starting to get theorised now. Mm. And I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson where they said, uh, I think it was either him or Stephen Hawking or something like that, where they asked, what do you think would happen if aliens come to our planet? Uh, do you think they'd be hostile? And, and like, how would we fare and all that kind of stuff? And they just said, look, to be honest with you, if they came here, we wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah. We don't have space flight. We don't have this and that. And this is one of those ones where, okay, we have the gold, right? We have them. They're, they're, they're just, they want to sm- They want to either enslave you or destroy you. This These guys were great because they didn't have any access to any off-world technology or anything. They didn't know about the gate system until Earth uh, gave them all the information. Mm. And they were very smart about this. And they thought, we have this plan, but we're not going to go guns blazing because that's almost counterproductive. We can't be bothered with all that shit, whatever. Mm. We're going to go about it our way and in a way that benefits us. And it was very, it was more... Systematic. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it was more brutal. And then even like when uh, they they defeated the ghoul, as Tilk says, and everything like that. But they were so precise at this and it's actually quite scary like to think mm. that that's actually a more realistic approach to what you you know what you could theorize would be the fall of like the human like society mm. and all that kind of stuff is stuff like that because humans have been at war since you know the get-go Forever, yeah. and all that kind of stuff and and that's you know up and down up and down all that kind of stuff but this was actually very like yeah again to use your words systematic and yeah. well, it's like you it's watch scary that. to think that 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 like that could all you know, get technology advances to a point where that could be a real possibility. And you go, oh, yeah. shit. Mm. Yeah. There's that awesome movie of Clive Owen, Children of Men, Alfonso mm-hmm. Caron, who, di- who directed that. And that was that was the end of the world, basically. Yeah. No child had been born in 18 years. And the world was falling apart. Mm. And then, the, if you haven't seen that movie, the, 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 the premise is that there's a woman who is pregnant and she needs to be taken to a safe zone because all these people want that child mm. or want to kill the, the pregnant mother. 
but you look at the world and it's it's war torn. Like mm. they're just it, it's it's absolutely been ripped apart because there's no future, so everyone's freaking the fuck out. Mm. Like it's so much, it's it, it it successfully destroyed the world like no war ever had, where mm. men were sending soldiers to fight each other. Yeah. It just ripped apart because we weren't able to save ourselves, and so unified the world was about having no future together. Yeah, like yeah. it's a long con, and they must be a very patient race for like these guys yeah. who even their grandchildren's grandchildren Wonder, probably well, what won't did they see. Do? The, they doubled the no, human no, lifespan. They doubled the human lifespan, but that's something they would have made available only to humans. Yeah, but when you think about it, they probably would have had the tech to just extend their life to no end. Definitely, they yeah. would have stopped mm. the aging process completely. But when you know what, it's kind of like releasing technology to us these days. Like we've got the iPhone, we think that's amazing, but you yeah. think. Now what imagine the, the stuff that have? the military have, yeah. then oh, the yeah, government yeah. has, then the black book projects, then the R and D, which is only like to the most yeah. elite of the elite mm. of the elite. You think what would they have? Yeah. If we have something as awesome as like the iPhone and this and that that's coming yeah. out now, we got Google Maps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah what these, have they these got? These guys had teleportation. They didn't even have PayWave though. Did you see at the start? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she still had. She still had to swipe the credit card. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, not yeah. even Maybe PayWave. Maybe his card was broken. Uh, it was very. Did they see him on our report? That was just Cooper. Cooper. It was very. Very quick though, like so. I thought when he gave her the card and she, I'm like, don't swipe it. You didn't think you had yeah. that, and she swiped it and walked yeah. away. And I'm like, oh, that's it. Wasn't like a printing out. Do you want a copy of it? Yeah. No, you don't. But even like, that was yeah. that was like Go a hands free FPOS machine. That was yeah. pretty advanced mm. for like 2000. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, Mac is still like sticking out the window. That's on like some chain. And you're yeah. like, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't flog it, I think. I mean, I still get pissed off now when you go through a drive-thru and you give them the, the card and they're like, pay wave. I'm like, what do you what think? The, what, what else No, I'm it giving it to you. Oh, yes. would you yeah. 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 Over $100? No. <laughs> oh, see, I'm the weirdo that when I go through the drive-thru uh, and they ask me if it's pay wave, I hand them my debit card to like, put my PIN number in. No, oh, well, mine's a debit card. I feel it, weird. It's got the Just ask for a receipt, bro. Oh. Hmm? Ask for a receipt. Why? We'll check it in case they scam you. Oh. Is that what you're worried about? No, I just oh. don't use my credit card very much. Yeah, well... Oh, okay. Our dad went and bought a case of beer from the bottle shop and uh, he used PayWave and he goes, oh yeah, just enter your PIN. My dad's like, my PIN number? What mm. the hell? He checked it and it was, he char- it was like 40 bucks for the case. He charged him 400 bucks. <laughs> oh, He's like, oh, that's, uh, that's yeah, you charged me too much there. Just a touch. <laughs> just no, it. it's really important. Yeah. This stuff. <laughs> I'm not putting my PIN number in for that. <laughs> It just seemed like when you know she went and got checked by uh, by Fraser, who had like you know one of her bigger starring roles so far in the season mm, uh, yeah. series after mm. three and a half seasons. And oh, I said when she went on that bloody uh, mission in the curse. Oh yeah, <laughs> all the way to bloody Egypt, <laughs> Egypt to where yeah. she was. <laughs> She's like, oh no, what did, what did the Yashen tell you? Oh, they told me nah, something's not wrong. Still, like it's neither one of us. We're just yeah. going to keep trying. But she's like, you're actually unable to have children why would they not have told you oh hang on let's just check some uh digits oh hang on 90 percent of the planet aren't able to reproduce <laughs> yeah. it's like how do we not know this and i, know, I get they just th- had a throwaway line saying i guess they're just controlling the media and i'm like mm. I, yeah i guess so but like how how few people are you interacting with on a daily yeah, basis like mm. especially hey. even just yeah. to limit it to women characters like you got oh, Carter, she's speaking yeah. to phrase she's speaking to any other talk to each other like yeah Oh, yeah, we're struggling to have kids. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is weird. I'll get like, my other social option, friends though, no one. Oh, my sister, she's struggling. All her yeah. friends aren't. Yeah. Like, If you had the option, though, to like stay at home and start a family or go explore the f- Stargate universe and not have kids, which one are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, mate, you don't have oh, kids, mate. You don't know. You don't know <laughs> mate. After you've been doing it for 20 years, though, you'd be like, all right, new goals. <laughs> mate, my, my afternoon yesterday was wearing a Superman shirt when my kid wore a Flash t-shirt and we ran around the backyard trying to determine who's faster. Mm. And then Obviously, get- Superman... F- Whooped his ass. But. <laughs> <laughs> Flying. Then, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's not real world canon, but. <laughs> <laughs> then you got hit on by an obstetrician, so that'll that'll worked out well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Pardon? What? <laughs> <laughs> was that. it? Where was it? What, Twitter or Instagram? Some 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 guy was just some doctor was like, "Hey, nice chest, Mitch." Oh, I didn't. Oh, mm-hmm. and I saw. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I didn't give it a good look. Actually, who? Well, all right, okay, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this episode being 2010. It was obviously the past parts were set in 2000, but it was actually the first episode to uh, premiere in 2001. So it was the Ooh, first episode uh, to air in 2001. This is trivia. Well, I thought just because I haven't done it in so long, and this is actually the impetus for why this whole uh, segment exists, maybe we should uh, check no, out. No. Check out what's been happening. <gasps> Across the universe. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. It's been a while. It has We're been a walking. while. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about that for a minute. How like let's just skip forward to the 
the, the visitation of the Stark <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> sorry, Matt, Matt, sorry about your play, segment. Sorry, Matt, 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 there was an intro. I, don't I, don't know, I, I, I haven't heard this before. No, so Lincoln I heard wouldn't that, have heard this before. And then Matty just went quiet, and I'm like, all right, no, I want to. I, I gotta, no, it's all good. You would have heard the. We haven't done across the universe since like season two. So you would have on. heard it. It's been that <laughs> long. Yeah. Also, the timelines and reality. I had to I <laughs> jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> 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 I had to go and find the audio. I was quoting yeah, the bro. Getting hot on it. I'm all jacked up Mountain Dew. Nah, 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 nah. So, this is basically, when I found out this particular piece of information, it was actually the impetus for the entire Across the Universe segment. Now, this is, even though the episode takes place in 2000 and it airs in 2001, to, this is the earliest time I can mention it, so that's why I'm doing it. So, Across the Universe somewhere, 2001 was the year that the Tok'ra removed Katesh from her host. Ooh. And that's what's been happening across the universe. Yes. You'll find out. You'll find out about season seven. Oh. So is that in is that in the books? No, that's actually she mentions it in about season nine. She says, Oh, it was X amount of years ago, blah 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 happened. So I did the math. I actually found a website that has like a timeline. So it's like you can click on two thousand oh, and yeah. Captain Chronology. Yeah, 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 you can click on two thousand of us. Oh, no, of us. You Come in, Maddie, the water's warm. Two thousand and four <laughs> and it'll it'll give you like all yeah. the um, you know, Important events that happened in that year. Vala.com. He was nah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, one visitor today. Oh, uh, yeah. So at some point in the next 12 months, Katesh is removed from her host. Very nice. Nah. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Sorry, I'm, I'm neutral on that one. Yeah. So up until they uh, went and saw Jack, what did you think had happened to him when they're like, oh, he's, oh yeah, he couldn't be here today? You know, like they said yeah, Hammond well, had died, but pr- hang on. President Kinsey oh, hey. <laughs> built off his little After campaign last week. Last week. I'm yeah. like, oh That's why Jack God. couldn't be there. He's like, I couldn't, shouldn't have called TMZ, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't wrong when he called those voters idiots. <laughs> yeah, but when they, when I think it was, who was it, Carter said, oh, he made his uh, views on this partnership with the Ashen very clear. So obviously he wasn't, uh, he wasn't happy with it. But I, I wanted to know why, why at the time, the whole world was like, yeah, 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 yeah. But he was the only one that said, nah, don't do it. Mm. And even when they caught up with him and he's like, you know, nah, I told you from the start that this wasn't, wasn't, I wasn't keen on this idea. He never said why. And this, I guess, in spite of the other side, like where he was shacking up with Nazis from the, you know, yeah, yeah, from another up, planet yeah. because they had some cool tech. Yeah, he's yeah. like, maybe no, you learn his lesson. Yeah, maybe. Not trusting anyone. Yeah. And it's then like, too when, good to be true. When Carter said to her husband, oh yeah, they've, you know, they've made, 91 percent of uh women or they, they've it's dropped 91 percent sterilization rate yeah and then he's like oh that was only supposed to be 30 percent or whatever yeah. she's like what yeah you mother liquor yeah. the fact that he was in on it was just a, such an unnecessary twist but such a welcome one yeah, yeah. that he was in on it yeah and then he, which because you wanted to hate him yeah yeah, yeah you from the get-go you can't have her change her her present but change the future yeah. of the ishan deal yeah and have her leave behind a loving husband. But what an extra asshole for saying, like, 30 seconds before, oh, you're just depressed, we got to keep trying. And he knew 30% chance that she was barren. Yeah. yeah. You're like, come on, bro. I would have, no, nah, he would have said, oh, not her, though. Yeah. Leave my wife alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave her yeah. alone. You know, we're, we're, I'm in power. And does he but, want, does, like, does he want kids if he thinks it's a 30% chance? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a better chance that he's just enjoying the sessions. Yeah, but like if if she turns around to that cafe and goes, I'm pregnant, and he goes, Oh, shit, I was kind of banking on you not being. Warren! He knows very well that she's barren. That's why he's like, Oh, we just got to keep trying because he knows he can just get it. Imagine how dark that would have been had she or or Janet had like just revealed to each other that they had fallen pregnant Mm. and then they still have to go back and change. Yeah, and then like, like, and they already said, (laughs) Janet raised a. They Great wouldn't have. Point. They wouldn't have. What? Oh, well, Carter's like, nah, I got, I, I'm pregnant, so yeah, yeah. I'm sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or if but she'd if... gotten pregnant because she was actually cheating on him, and she got pregnant <gasps> from some other guy. Jack. Boom. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. there was no. She and didn't... he knows. He can't say. Like her husband can't say. Like he knows that she's barren. Yeah. So she's got her kids. So he's, he's just, he's just got to cop it and just raise Jack's baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No child support. But there wasn't <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe he was barren. He knew he was barren. Mm. She was still fertile. Nah. Next ne- minute, she's <laughs> pregnant with Jack's kid. Um, 
But there was no thinking on her behalf. She's just like, all right, well, we've got to go back and change it. Yeah. Mm. Like it was straight away. It was the second option she thought of. First one was like, go see Janet. Second, change the past. (laughs) That's it. It's like, oh, we've done it before. We can easily do it. Actually, Daniel, now that you mentioned it, maybe we can change the timeline. Oh, that's not what I was suggesting. No, we're doing it. (laughs) (laughs) Going to see Janet. Janet raised such a good point, though. And she's like, do we have that? Do we have that right to change the lives of the other billions of people that live on this planet? Like, they've all got, no one's got cancer anymore. Everyone's aging slower. Like, no Mm. one's sick. We're we're teleporting around. We're traveling to other planets. Like, there is, okay, sure, we're going to be dead in 200 years, but everyone living today... Is it's in a very utopian society. Yeah. And she like and then climate like, change alone. Well, don't, yeah. <laughs> doesn't affect us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So I was glad that like I was glad that she at least asked that question on a on a very yeah. good moral point of view, but then for Sam to go, Well, if we don't, then everyone's, everyone's gonna dead be dead anyway. soon anyway. Mm. So yeah, we have to go back. And it and, wouldn't just be Earth. It would have been spread out throughout the galaxy as they would have oh, basically yeah. established mm. their own reign. And once they took out the more advanced societies, such as Earth They've already defeated the guy all, so it's kind of like yeah, who's but left. What's not to say they haven't done it a hundred times before? Yeah, you know, yeah, like totally. throughout the years, planet to planet. But, yeah, because that's the thing. When he said, "Oh, that wasn't part of the like the fertility rate uh, dropping," ninety percent wasn't part of the deal, but thirty percent was because you know we've got to control population and all that. I'm like, Go I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, if only there was another way <laughs> to send people to another planet to live. Yeah. That way we won't have too many people here. Like, wow. it just didn't make sense. Or at least, well, I think it was because yeah. um, the the Ashen Confederation was basically they were like in their own little system of planets with a couple mm. of stargates. So then they had a couple of addresses. The deal being, so they that's why they were kind of doing population control with the few races that they had kind of you know absorbed into the into the confederation. Mm. But it was our knowledge of of the Abydos cartouche and all those addresses. Mm. That was our part of the deal. So we were they they were kind of you know. I don't think they mentioned that. Thing. Did they? In this episode. I don't think they mentioned it. Not in this one, no. no. But even if that was Didn't the case... did say something? No, because... It's no. during the... Not in this one, no. no. It's, it's uh, the... I'm thinking of the other But one. even if it was the case, why would... Still, why would they Why would they agree to drop the the fertility rate 30%? Because it doesn't make sense. They, they're like, oh no, we've got to control the population because we've only got a certain amount of planets. It's and we've theory, like, yeah, not... but we've got a list of hundreds of planets. Mm. Like, That's we, interesting. That, no, yeah. take that out of the deal. We don't need that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, population control is not a problem. Yeah, yeah, it is now without a Stargate, but uh, mm. yeah. with maybe the Stargate. maybe they tied it into the um, uh, the vaccine because remember, remember the the, the sterilisation thing was part of the anti aging yeah. vaccine. Yeah. So maybe they were saying like, oh, we don't have enough vaccine for this level of population. Mm. Yeah, I think at the end maybe of the they day, hit it in mm. that. the Ashen were yeah. just sort of dark at heart, and they were just yeah. they just mm. it was kind of a means to an end for them to cooperate for the amount yeah. of time that. And to sort of go, okay, well, here's our bargaining ship. You know, we'll give you all the tech, all of this, all of that. In turn, reduce. And that's, once you sort of open that door, they now have access and they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And their technology is so much more advanced. They can go, mm. all right, well, no, this is how it is. It's only going to be this much. And but, and what, I think Carter says it, by the time we figure it out, it's too late. And yeah, so it's they're one, made redundant. Yeah. And so it's one of those things to say, all right, we're cooperating, we're cooperating. And then the whole time, they've just got this other agenda. So for the, you know, that, but... From an Earth point of view, you'd say why? Yeah, you're you're exactly right. You'd say why? Hang on, we've got all these plants. We'll just scatter our people around. Once we make it known, once we do this, once we do that, mm. let's just set up some societies around with your help. And that, you know, that's yeah. that's going. We um, can all live happily ever after. Why? Why? If you like Carter's husband, if he knew about um, the sterilization, and you really wanted kids, wouldn't you have kids and then take the inoculation? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he was just shady from the get go. Yeah. He's, yeah, he was a douche. I did notice though. I don't. I don't think Daniel and Teal are friends anymore. There was. Well, this, there was this. I mean, they, we, we've talked about his wife. We've talked about the history. <laughs> they've talked about the history they've got. But when uh, Daniel, Teal, Carter, and Fraser are all there sipping their champagne and, and toasting um, to Hammond, and they say, "Oh, let's catch up for dinner," and they all say goodbye to each other, and Teal and Daniel both kiss Janet and Sam. Mm. Teal and Daniel don't even acknowledge acknowledge each other in any way. Daniel w- walks off first, and then Teal leaves as well. But Teal like leaves in the same direction, but just like 10, 15 meters back. <laughs> yeah, right. Like so, it's just this weird, awkward thing mm. where they've just been in the group together, but they're not walking off together. 
while well, they, you know what it is. He wants Jan. Daniel Jackson to die in a kinky way, so he's going to go murder him in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many people. Or around. they're just hiding the fact that those two are now on the download together, like, <laughs> just, like, trying to just play it, play it Less cool obvious. and just separate. And you know what's funny about that is that they could have blocked out that scene where they yeah. do actually shake hands, it's and then all on, on, that, on fault. that particular on that particular um, take. They didn't do it, mm. but it worked out for everyone else in the yeah. scene. So they go, yeah. I'll roll with that one. And now us fans are going, yeah. does this mean they don't become friends <laughs> in the future? Uh, it would have like- <laughs> made sense they didn't say goodbye to each other if they walked off together yeah, and yeah, they yeah. split into two groups. But it was like mm. Sam and Janet went one way and then Teal'c and Daniel kind of... It would have made sense if they both walked in separate directions. Then you would have been like, oh, something's going on. But yeah. they both walked off in the same direction, um, like, but apart. It was so weird. Petty thing for myself. I think when they were having uh, dinner, actually discussing about going back in, in time in that like high-rise restaurant. Mm. And I'm like, why is Daniel wearing glasses? Like, if they can cure everything else, mm. wouldn't yeah. they cure off bad eyesight? Like, and different glasses. Mm. He's got a different yeah, pair different of glasses at the start little, of the episode. Retro the ones. End yeah. of the episode. I thought, like, it could have been a thing that they don't ever reference. They don't ever have to, Daniel would go, yeah. geez, I'm glad that you well, shouldn't didn't fix have my his eyesight. Emblem. Yeah, they, yeah. they can fix so, that up. That yeah. took a little while oh, to notice true. that he my, didn't have his emblem in what, the future. They didn't even notice that. Laser eyesight, you know? Yeah. I suppose, yeah, the guy would have defeated it, hey? Yeah. Yeah. That's I like that little backstory from mm. for Trulak as well. How did they defeat the Gold though? They didn't say that. No. no. Like if the Gold was nice. so easy to kill off, why did they spend so long on on Earth? Mm. Or in the note that maybe they could have just said how to kill off the Gold when they. No, well that's the game. Game. Yes. for Reese. That's something he'll find out in a later episode. Mm. Mm. But interesting, where they, where they touch on all the races, so they're like, oh, we can talk to the Tolan. The Tolan are there. What's left of the Toka, surely there is some remaining. Mm. And what about the Jafar? And they're like, ah, Jafar aren't happy with you anymore because they wanted to, Very they, they wanted freedom, but it's like, oh, f- without those uh, without the symbiotes, we're... Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it was biological, like against the actual symbiotes. Mm. If there's no, not, ma- not many Toka and not many mm. symbiotes mm. for the, yeah, some yeah, kind yeah. Of Jafar. Gaseous symbiote poison. Biological mm. weapon. Mm. Yeah. Hey, um, at the risk of uh, bringing up science chat again. Um, no, it was awesome. Don't you dare. No, just something different now. Um, turning Jupiter into a sun, which yeah, was what the Ashen's kind of plan was. Do we think that's actually viable? Like, wouldn't that have an effect on Earth? In terms of how much sun yeah, and radiation we're getting, super super pool. dense as well. Yeah, and then yeah. would where do we sit? Like well, that not as far as being, orbit, um, we're obviously are we closer to the sun than we are to Jupiter? Like I, I think don't so. Yeah. yeah, like I know the sun's obviously a mountain no, load bigger than yeah, Jupiter. Yeah. yeah, so it's going to look like that anyway. We're within but, the four planets are within. Uh, the, I think there's a belt. Yeah, the asteroid, an asteroid belt thing. Belt, yeah. Yeah. And way and past Jupiter. that is Jupiter. So. Yeah. Right. But then I. It takes 12 years for Jupiter to orbit, orbit the sun. Yeah. But then what. So, say for example, and you know, it's hard to assume, but say for example, Jupiter stayed at the same size, but it became a sun. Mm. Mm. Would it still. It'd have to shrink. Would it still be in, our, in the orbit of our sun, like of Sol? Would it mm. still be. Yeah. At which point, what good is that to any. Like, if it was there to be a, a source of light and heat for like Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Yeah. Well, it's like, well, what happens if they keep rotating? And it's at one point you've got this, um, the new Jupiter sun on the other side of the solar system, yeah. and Pluto still way out, sort of on the on the opposite side of the solar yeah. system. Imagine yeah. like the slow, what? like as it beca- as it takes in its own gravitational pull, and then like Pluto smashes into Mars. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like planets yeah. just yeah. Or would it just shit. simply would Whoops. it would it just <laughs> be like old mate last week in the, with that radiation? <laughs> oh, I'm going oh. dumb. Up. <laughs> <laughs> or would it just like drop anchor and just stay where it is and then suddenly try and pull other like some of those yeah. other planets yeah, po- close the to poor it. people in Neptune they're like can't wait for summer in 400 years yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. well I think yeah I think uh, because sun's a super dense mass mm. if you're going to create just the mat, just that matter, which is Jupiter, it would have to shrink quite mm. considerably it's to like get a tennis ball, to get yeah to get really mm. small. Yeah, there are there are stars smaller than Jupiter currently. Yeah, out but then the my universe. thought is just like, well, if it if it continues in orbit around around our sun, what good is it? Like when it's yeah, yeah. when it's not synced. You up almost to... have to be one of the moons, but you'd be too close for Jupiter. Jupiter moons would burn out. Yeah, immediately. surely, mm. surely. So mm. I do know. I did. Uh, I think yeah, I read somewhere. They're all somewhere... in different orbits as well. Yeah, like Neptune takes 120 years or something to rotate. That's like it. try it in a different solar system first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah do do it. Go off world and try one of those gas giants. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say it's not the not the best idea this season they have on playing around with the sun. Is all I'll say when we get to the uh, season finale. That's that's some fun, right? Oh, there. so many teasers here, boys. <laughs> what I really liked about 
especially the way that this wrapped up uh, this episode, it sort of made you feel like it was just such a tiny little event. Obviously, in the future, it was just over over a couple of days, if that, where they realize what's going on, mm. they decide to act on it, and they complete their mission. And just the way that they wrap it up, like now our, the risk of going back to where we were at the start of the episode, but our now present day um, SG-1 again are like, oh, I wonder when you sent that. They're like, yeah, you have to wonder, don't you? Close to black. It's like they've, yeah. they've got no idea yeah. the shit that oh, their, their now former future selves yeah. went through mm. to see out that mission. To make sure that their future change, that their planet didn't get taken over yeah. by these aliens that were going to see them deceased within a few centuries, uh, it it just it just made it feel like such a tiny tiny little mission, yeah. like because they didn't pay off on it. And something else, not so much they didn't pay off, they didn't reference the bad guys in this particular story don't have a face. We never meet mm. like the high ranking Ashen who's like it was my master plan all along. Yeah. Yeah. The closest we get is the bloke who gives card of the password to the computer. Yeah, yeah. Molong. Like, yeah. like he's the closest thing we have to guy. a face to the Ashen who are the bad yeah. guys. Otherwise, it's just about our guys on a tiny black ops mission, essentially. They don't ever come into contact with a high-ranking Ashen. The cl- again, we, we, the, the, the biggest bad of this episode are the freaking lasers on the wall that are shooting <laughs> yeah. them as yeah. they're trying to send the message shit to the lasers, game. Shit lasers, too, by the way. Yeah, like yeah they're like... end part. I, 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 like, yeah, shit, sorry, shit lasers. I'm like, is that killing them or is it just yeah. like stunning them yeah, a thousand times? Tiny. Yeah, yeah. I loved that end part where yeah, Jack's like, oh, yeah, you got to wonder. Like, I had a little pit in my stomach when he said that, and I'm like, they will never know what happened. Like, yeah. they, like there's blood on the note, and it's in Jack's handwriting. That's all they know. Like, yeah. you've got to yeah. take from that. Like, that and is that something massive happened. They'll get the right results here. that, oh, it's Jack and Carter's blood probably on yeah. that. Like, yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure Hammond was the only one to really real- uh, realize the, the gravity of the situation. Mm. Listen, not even without where- any discussion, he just went... Lock it out of the dialing. That's computer. what I mean. Yeah. He's the only one that's like, shit, that's Jack's handwriting with blood on it. Like, yeah. that, something <laughs> massive just happened. Everyone yeah. else is like, yeah. oh, don't you want to check it for that? He's like, nah, that, like, that's huge. Yeah, yeah he's like, don't what are they not even going to send a MALP? Or because do like not, because, under any circumstance, go to P4C789. Yeah, because he wrote think, a note, remember? You know what they should have written, hey, should have written hey, then? He wrote a note, remember? Hammond. Send it back to 69. Yeah. So he's like, oh, another note from the future. You know what they could have done together? Yeah. I don't care if it is from Jack or not. It came through the Stargate. Let's not yeah, go to yeah, that planet. Yeah, yeah, you know what he could have written, though? Could have been Jack's handwriting going, don't go to PX370, Kinsey yeah. becomes president. It's like, whoa, <laughs> no, hey, no more. cross out, pa- delete that planet. Patriots won the Super Bowl in 2004. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, we'll get that Nakwood bomb from last week, send it to that planet. Yeah, we don't yeah, ever yeah. want anything that happens because of those guys yeah. coming into effect. You see when they were doing the, the tour through the SGC? Mm. Um, oh, and we're walking. And we're walking, and, and we're then walking. there was that guy standing on the ramp doing the the Vulcan salute. Oh, really? We're doing a close version wasn't quite quite right, but he was pretty close. <laughs> Shit, it was a he had version. the he had the well, thumb. Well, they in, couldn't do copyright. He had yeah. the thumb in the wrong position. Yeah, everything yeah, it should have been up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> Maddie, you might be able to help because you you actually saw it was on the Instagram story. My uh, when I was here at work the other week, because working a radio station, and oh, we we're oh, off God. there at the time, oh, right? And now I've got this really cool little um, uh, Stargate Atlantis merch, and it's like it's Geek Five Thousand, Nerd Five Thousand, even it goes further. But it's a USB, so I plug it inside the computer, and it's a little um, uh, a little uh, disc disc shape that you put your mug on and it keeps your tea or your coffee warm. Oh, so it's just this metal plate that says Stargate Atlantis on it. You switch it on it. It glows like a purple colour and because it's metal, it heats up and keeps your tea warm for as long as you've got to sit on it, which is great. So I decided it's winter here now on these stupid mugs that we've got here at work. They go cold in like four minutes. Sit it on there, keep it warm. And then in the studio, they look through the window and one of the guys on air, he looks through it and he's like, oh, no way. Meanwhile, he's being filmed on Instagram story, so Maddie can hear mm. everything that's going on his side of the glass he then points out to the camera and I can see he's saying something about Stargate Stargate because he can read it but then he looks at the camera does the Vulcan symbol oh, no. and then did he quote something from Star Wars no it was there was a Doctor, oh. there was a Doctor Who reference right, right. there somewhere oh, and then he goes geez. he holds up he goes look at me I'm a Stargate yeah, and, and I'm I like, like shame. Oh, you're better than that, mate. No, it was shame. It was Lutzy. It was Lutzy. He's better than that, man. Like, he Lutzy. doesn't seem like the type of closet nerd, but he'll be there and he'll be able to recite shit that went down in the cantina in mm. A New Hope. Like, <laughs> and then and, 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 uh, he can he oh, sing yeah. the whole song from Jabba's Palace and shit. Like, he knows what's up. He can tell the difference between Boba Fett and Django Fett. Like, he's he's up there. Like, yeah. he'll just, he'll, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So, 
Just wanted to point yeah. that out there, okay? Yeah, so there is, bad. yeah, Vulcan. There is a good way to do it, and there's a bad way to do it. Mm. But there and it's was, not uh, when you're referring to Stargate. <laughs> well, it was it was a museum in SGU, but I think the greatest um, SGU. piece SGC. SGC um, I think the the greatest uh, piece that was left there from the from ten years ago was definitely Walter. Yeah. Yes. yes. This is something and we've been teasing yes. for four years. Oh. For you. Honestly, you have caught up to one of the key points in the Walter mythos. Yeah. This is the first time we actually found out his name was Walter. So like you've is been like oh, yeah, you've been lucky enough. Time. That's oh why he's going yeah. Walter. You've been lucky enough this entire like four seasons. To no, know Walter. that his name was Walter. <laughs> oh, true. That's Watching the this first, first time, time, we had we didn't even. Cracker. He was just technician. Oh yeah. my god! And then at the start of this episode, no, the end of the episode when the gates activating and because the notes coming through and stuff, there's a shot. But you see um, uh, Walter sitting there, yeah. and it's close enough we can read his name tag, and it says Davis because they've just yeah. reused um, Colin Cunningham's oh. Major Davis <laughs> badge. Oh, he used to. He yeah. wore that in season one. Yeah, too. he did. Yeah. yeah. So at this point. Every fan who's a fan of him now says, "Okay, he is Walter Davis. he is Sergeant Master Technician Walter Davis mm. Harriman." Well, and there's the thing in about two seasons' time. <laughs> um, Hammond says, "I think he was meant to say Airman, but he kind of mumbled it, and with his Texan accent, everyone thought it was Harriman. So Harriman. then, he, so then he becomes Walter Harriman. <laughs> right? It's it. Once we get there to the particular episode, um, Gary Jones actually is part of one of the audio commentaries, and he tells the entire story of his name, <laughs> and it's one of the most brilliant things Perfect. you'll ever hear. I was about to say maybe he just like wanted to get away from what was his ex girlfriend's name, Chevron or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 So maybe he wanted to get away from her. And in order, in order to get away from her, he had to change his name. Yeah. yeah. From Davis yeah. to Harriman. Stargate Origins, <laughs> Walter. Stargate Origins, Walter. Get away it's, from it's her. It's Walter, it's Walter Davis Harriman, and one of the, one of the, Davis is crossed out yeah. Harriman, and you're like, what's yeah. it crossed out for? It's, yeah, and like, the poster <laughs> is him with like a black stripe across his eyes, and you're like, what's the, I want to know, I want to know, I want to yeah. see that. Wasn't yeah. the story as well that, um, Richard Dean Anderson just said Walter, and they're like, oh, it's yeah. meant to be Davis. He's like, nah, we'll keep it. Yeah, yeah. Walter yeah, was an ad lib. Sure. He just yeah. threw that in. Oh, that was just a awesome. name that he came up with on the day. Yeah. Um, does anyone know what's on this floor? The gate room? No, it's the <laughs> embarkation <laughs> room. No, he's right. It, well, it's the gate room. Because <laughs> this is where the teams embarked from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! SG1, not my favourite team. Yeah, oh. <laughs> their faces. So, so, yeah. Definitely SG11. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, if you yeah. didn't like him, a new one come in next week. Alrighty, everyone. Everyone, please step all the way out. We've arrived Heavy at level Canadian 28. out there. Mm. Can Eight. anyone guess at what special room is on this floor? The key room. That's very, very close. Anyone else? Uh, he's right. It's the gate room. Well, what I'm sure many of you don't know is that officially oh, it's known so as condescending. the embarkation room because that's where the SG teams Embark- embarked from. Um. <laughs> Okay, now we're walking. Oh. <laughs> it reminds me of the um, you know, in Toy Story two. You might get this race because you love the kids' movies when they're driving <laughs> through the creep. driving through Al's toy barn and the Barbie <laughs> the doll Barbie. is driving yeah. them, yes. giving them the tour. Yeah. And yeah. over here we had the Buzz Lightyears when uh, back oh. a few years ago, and stupid suppliers didn't supply enough toys because they didn't yeah. appreciate the demand. And then during the end credit, she's like, "Okay, bye bye now, bye bye, oh. bye bye now, see you bye-bye. later, bye bye, bye bye." David Spade, bye bye, uh, Popeye sounds a lot like bye bye, bye bye. But seeing them go through that tour in the uh, in the SGC was awesome, and then they oh, go up to where so, they, you know, it's it's yeah. just funny because it's that same set. You put a few things over, and all of a sudden you're like, "Wow, that's an old set now. Yeah, yeah, it's a relic. Mm, and, yeah. You know, where'd you get that from? Armory. Like, it's <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh, this. Oh, yeah, this and now, um, like, when must, the- how good's Walter though when they're looking for the little device or whatever? Yeah, and he's like, "Where's the real one?" He's, "Oh, that's in the White House in the Oval Office." I'm like. Do you know yeah. that? Yeah. 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 Mate, he knows everything. Like you well, said it's in the does. Pentagon. You're like, yeah. if you said Pentagon, that's probably just a good guess. Yeah. But for you to know that the president's actually got that. Yeah. 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 The Oval Office. And the president's that... desk. All right. Yeah. I love that they were all like Fair skilled enough. enough to just like dump the, the tour and somehow get into the control room and then up the stairs to yeah. like an area that clearly no mm. one ever gets to tour. Oh, mate, they had a rope there. Uh, <laughs> velvet <laughs> rope, mm, but they just it. they just got up there as quick as and no one ever noticed. Yeah. And they were just yeah. sitting there chilling out, yeah. you know, like old times. Yeah, yeah. They completely screwed Walter over. He's like, "Can we borrow this?" No, you definitely can't borrow. it We'll bring it back on Tuesday. He's like, "All right, you better tell me yeah. what's happening." Yeah. He's like, "Ah, Tuesday won't exist. <laughs> Tuesday won't exist." <laughs> I love it when um, 
when they go up the up the ramp and then O'Neill's like, and we're, and we're walking. And they do that far shot and it's obviously his body double. <laughs> Did you see that? No. It was blatant. I think, oh, I think yeah, I do remember so seeing blatant. that before. I like it how they say, it. it's the exact replica of the Stargate and it's just the same prop. It's obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, was, uh, there was one line though that I just couldn't cop and that was right at the very, very end and ironically he copped it, was the guy that um, spoke to Teal'c. And just his wording, you just knew exactly what was going to happen as soon as he said it. Oh, God, yeah. We carry these for ceremonial purposes only. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you'll have to let me have it. Very well. Very well. Boom! He oh, got axed. I oh, love it. So hard. Yeah. Terrorist you'll, attack. You'll <laughs> have to let me have it? Yeah. <laughs> what else was going to happen? Yeah. I was hoping you would say that. Boom! <laughs> like, over. you'll have to give it to me? Same yeah. thing would have happened. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, You're going to have to shoot me in the face with that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If he said, I'm okay... I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to kill me. <laughs> he could have said, you're going to have to surrender your weapons, you're going to have to hand them over. Yeah. I mean, Tilk still would have shot him, but he just wouldn't have got that great very well. Yeah. <laughs> so good, it's totally yeah. worth it. But just that shot that knocked him oh, six oh, feet back. It was great. That like, must have had just crazy epic. rope on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just yanked it. Definitely. Or just when those Shen are just weak bitches. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. How came was Tim right for away. a night out too, like at the start? And they're like, yeah. oh, Tilk, so we're going to get together. He's like, no, I am due back on Chulak. And they're like, oh, come on. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Right. yeah. Let's do shots. I'm sick of my wife anyway. Yeah. I would have liked it if he would have been like, inoculate this. Boom. <laughs> I was wondering why uh, when Daniel kept shooting those mini lasers, he was just shooting one every minute or so. Just like go out and yeah, choo, oh, choo, oh, choo, God, he was probably trying all. to tell the yeah. laces why he was right. And that, yeah. 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 That, took, that took me back to our podcast a few weeks ago, where you knew that the, I'm watching that. and I'm like, that's just because Michael Shanks doesn't like the Zat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on, man. Yeah. Like yeah. if you have yeah. that and that works, use the f-ing thing. You're yeah. trying to change the past. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah. Choo. What came to mind for me was like Tilk was off world, so he had access to all different kinds of weapons. He could have brought back. And I was thinking, at least get like a personal shield that Apophis mm. has, mm. so you can dial up the oh, gate yeah. without getting killed. Or... The little, um... Oh, they would have destroyed that when they killed the ghoul. The little orbies that knock they people can't out. Get rid of the t- Remember how yeah. they, like, yeah, but... they roll through those little orbies that just do the blast? Yeah. They, w- they would have taken out the guy being like, oh, you'll have to hand over your weapon. So they could have yeah. just walked we through wouldn't have got that and sweet started kill shot. blasting. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> 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 just needs a one liner before he yeah. kills anyone. And he brought his like, Padawan, and the Padawan like, has, a couple of, has a couple of hits and then cops one to the neck and then the temple and just goes, oh, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. Tilt takes like 700 more, <laughs> spinning the stuff, bang. Even Jackson again. copped more than that Padawan. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Uh, for me, the most most ruthless ones was Jack when he's kind of slowing down and in his side of the face, oh. and then in the temple, and I'm like, mm. oh, that's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit of inconsistency there because, like, when they're doing Jack's close ups, even on his clothing, they're putting little like hole marks as each one hits. And the ripple effect, like, yeah, but yeah. they're actually leaving like holes in his in his clothing mm. as they as they puncture like puncture through to the skin. Yeah. Whereas with Teal'c, they weren't puncturing like his caftan. No. Like his caftan didn't have no, any marks. That thing was too cool, though. <laughs> what, you, what kind of royalty are you back on True Luck at the moment, man? Because you look like a f***ing boss. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, the new god, mate. Right, that's, yeah. just, that's just a that's just a Jafar dressing gown. That's yeah. all that is. He's coming in his pajamas <laughs> yeah, and no one knows. I just yeah. woke up. <laughs> From Dude. a deep, deep, deep. <laughs> 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 the ring. Since the girl ordered it, he can do whatever he wants, and he's going to meditate deep. Still I'm putting my girl in pajamas. Yeah. Still not drinking. He's still just on the orange juice when yeah. they're celebrating. Still yeah. just like yeah. oh, I have no effect on him. Oh no, he's. He doesn't have a symbiote anymore, does he? Yeah, still just making he? the choice. I don't know. What, um, did Jack shoot that guy through the bag? Yeah. He had the Zat in the bag yeah. and he shot through the bag and it went into him. Oh, did he? I yeah. Yeah. That. yeah, right. I thought, he, a, I thought he took I, it out and just the nose no, was out. No, I, I rewound it because I'm going, that's a bit weird. Yeah, right. Ooh. Yeah. And it, yeah, you couldn't see the Zat in shot. It just went through the red bag. I'm like, that's risky. Mm. Yeah, Because <laughs> you could have Zat yourself. Gone. Also, why yeah. did he need that spear gun if he's like just go down the stairs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like cool. like he um, landed. He it landed took ages. in the middle. Of, like he still had to run to the Stargate. Like, yeah. Yeah. why didn't he take well, out all the guards in the meantime? Daniel, from a good yeah. position. Daniel took the escalator and still got to the stairs of the gate. Like <laughs> yeah. and that's Daniel. Yeah. That's Daniel made it that yeah. far. Like Jack. I mean, oh, yeah. it was cool, but Jack. Well, didn't RDA did that stunt. That was cool. 
Yeah. The Firefox. The Firefox. So actually, if Firefox? you guys... Firefox. <laughs> Firefox. He did the Firefox. internet. I'm really glad too, <laughs> actually, that, um, that Carter got... Because like, when it looked like O'Neill was going to be the one to throw it in, I'm like, you can't take that away from Carter. This is her episode. Mm. Yeah. And thank God, like, he did get, yeah. you know, um, apologies for saying yeah. this about RDA, but got killed before he got to complete it. Mm. And then Carter gets to be the one to actually do the killing blow. I'm like, okay, cool. She did, deserved uh, that. So why didn't, didn't they little... throw the rock through? It was Jack's idea to wrap... Wrap it up. Why didn't they get like 10 yeah. rocks and just keep pegging them through? Yeah. Like, what was the go there? I feel like they each had a they each had a note, didn't they? Yeah, but I think he said, why don't we wrap it around a rock and throw it through the gate? Mm-hmm. And he yeah. goes, oh, the, like, the defense. Won't get past the defense. Yeah, and I'm like, well, Carter threw the note. Granted, it was pretty yeah. close to the vent horizon, but mm-hmm. I don't yeah, you see could, why. You could literally stand at the I don't the see why. Well, I mean, he could have just pegged a couple of his notes to the spear gun and then shot that through the star yeah. gate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, folded into a paper airplane. Straight in. Yeah. <laughs> Box like, of tissues. Tilt could have had you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that would have worked. Cool. Absolutely would have. Yeah. Message read loud and they would have been like, what's that from Daniel? <laughs> well, uh, did you guys want to hear a little bit of uh, behind the scenes on uh, on that whole stunt? Yes. Yeah? Wheel. All right. Wheel in the piano, boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gather round the fire. It's time for another reading. I missed you, buddy. With high pitch. I am. Allowing himself a very small pat on the back, Brad Wright offers, 2010 is my favourite Stargate. It's my best work, and though I write a lot of stuff that doesn't have my name on it, you can be sure that if something does have my name on it, on the writer credits, it's going to be something that hasn't been done before. It's all me, baby. Jeez, big head. (laughs) Wright was particularly pleased with the scenes between Sam, Joe, Carter and O'Neill. Amanda got nominated for a Gemini Award for her performance in this episode, and I was always uh, a little... Quietly proud when an actor gets nominated for something I wrote. Oh, tapping, Jesus Christ. Tapping shares another Life of her. F- oh, tell me it's not warranted though. <laughs> tapping shares another of her favourite moments by recounting what happened during the final Gallipoli-like scene. Oh, turn it up. We did. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Like seriously. Yeah. Wow. Well, I remember in Gallipoli all those lasers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, and the harpoon gun. Yeah. <laughs> we did the episode shortly after Galaxy Quest came out. Sit down, Mitch. You can relax. Uh, <laughs> As is that, we, sorry, is that in the book? Yes. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, good as we were shooting the final scene where Rick comes flying down that big rope and gets hit by the lasers, I was watching him in rehearsal and he gets hit and does this role reminiscent of Tim Allen's in the film. Uh, at the bit where Alan Rickman turned to him and says, Is that absolutely necessary? I turned to Andy Makita and repeated those words along with, What next? Is he going to lose his shirt? And then mm. they all laughed. What movie was that? Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Right. Spoiler thanks, alert. thanks, thanks, Graham. Graham. Good Graham. to see you, buddy. See if you bud. can squeeze that piano just out real sure quick, you just put those candles out because that's a fire hazard. Yeah, just yep. That, all right, sweet. See you, Graham. Very patronising bloke, Graham. Mm. Yeah, for not saying anything. Mm. No. He didn't even look. Did he look at you? He didn't look at me. Didn't look at I'm anybody. not allowed to make eye contact with him. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's not a yeah. social guy. I don't know is if he? that was a real thing or not. Yeah, like, no. Yeah. I mean, I pay him, but I'm not allowed to make eye contact with him. We're demanding these industry types. I mean, so same when you are. have sex. Yeah, I was going to say. Because <laughs> <it's, laughs> it's too hard to turn. He's not the neck. first person I've paid for th- their services that I'm not allowed to make eye contact with. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or can't in some situations. <laughs> Cut back to present day, though. There, and it's a shot on Walter. Davis Harriman and Hammond walks in. Fraser comes into shot, and SG One are at the back. This and I'm talking about the uh, the control room here. Mm. They're just hanging around under the staircase at the back of the control room, and then all of a sudden they all just walk into shot. I'm like, yeah. when do any of them <laughs> yeah. hang out no, in the control no, no, room? No, no, no. There's, no, there's no doorway meeting. there. They weren't coming from somewhere else. I'm okay. I'm okay with SG One <laughs> hanging out. What the f- is Fraser doing? There? <laughs> no, <right. laughs> like, the fact that she said right. <laughs> yeah. they, they go. It's SG One's ADC, and Hello. then Fraser just pops in and goes, "That's weird." I'm like, "No, no, no! What's weird is you not being on your floor." Because haven't we worked the out that the infirmary yeah. is actually like in a different? Siler is probably so injured right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that wrench up his ass. Like, <laughs> You're so right. Again. Which I did not even think about. We've that. had another wrench incident. We've had another wrench incident. <laughs> Doctor Fraser to the infirmary, please. <laughs> Yeah, but they're all just hanging out in the control room like that's never happened before and never will again. No. <laughs> like, just come on. Brilliant. Yeah. Come on, just Andy. in case anyone in the audience is like, well, maybe it was all a dream because Tilk wasn't there, but he was on the other side. <laughs> you were there. So I did write down uh, Jack's request to write down the note. Super Bowl, 2004, Patriots. World Series, Red Sox. Grey <laughs> Cup, Toronto. 
I don't know how to say that. Argonauts. <laughs> so, good story. Uh, <laughs> As in Jason and the Argonauts? Hopefully. Yeah, he's from Toronto. What oh, else yeah. is boring? It's probably astronauts, but anyway. Oh, wouldn't it be good if, um, you know how Hammond said, all right, lock out P3X989 or whatever it is out of the dialing computer f- and they cut to Walter. To me, like, Walter wasn't really paying attention. He's like... And Hammond walks away, dismissed. <laughs> Walter's like, shit, what number was that? Did anyone hear that? What, what, what was it? Did Did he, he, and everyone's shit. like, you're on your own there, Walter. Can I see that note? Do you <laughs> mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's gone off for blood testing. Oh, sir, sir, God. sir. Oh, God. Sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you mean oh, guys... Delete. <laughs> so much trouble. <laughs> oh, shit, if I delete the wrong one. Do you mean delete or put it on SG-11's mission? <laughs> 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 and he doesn't know, so he just... He, when everyone clocks off, he takes it upon himself to go to every planet just to check <laughs> which one it might be. It's time to find out if, if Reese's been, been paying attention. attention. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Three weeks in a row. Oh, just mate. All over this. Just hit, uh, us, uh, hit a up Stargate Command for Five all those weeks, amazing yeah. questions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> these are all gimmies for Reese, by the way. Again. Trivia questions yeah, just so he good. can feel good about himself, <laughs> not go home and cry himself to sleep. So, 30 oh. seconds on the clock. That doesn't stop me from doing it. But yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds doesn't stop you from... Anyway. Uh, in the episode 2010, yeah. what was the name of the alien race? Ashen. Correct. Who recruited Daniel Jackson to work the Stargate program? Who recruited? Uh, Catherine. Correct. Duncan? Sam Carter gave this character a cat. Oh, t- the Tolan guy. Yes. Point. Pass. What is the name of the main alien in episode 2010? Uh, pass. What is the binary planet code in the note sent back through time? Four. C4C nine seven eight. Correct. <laughs> so you got what was the dipshit's name? <laughs> Mollum. Mollum. I would have accepted Melon. By the way. Yeah, it's like Melon. Mullen. 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 Oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Mullen. Uh, yeah, so it was the Ashen. What was the Tolan guy? Nareem. Nareem. Gave Nareem. the cat to Carter. Yeah, of course. Melon was the name of the alien. And you got the planet binary, and I noticed you wrote that down, so that doesn't count. Oh, yeah, no, I'll remember it off the top of my head, mate. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that violates was, most trivia rules, but yeah, that's I was all right. thinking, great job. He wrote it down. <laughs> Look, if it was only Nareem. He's amazing. He's amazing. Wow. If it was only Nareem that got you, I guess we could only hear from Daniel once, but yeah. you got another one wrong. So. Reese, your father made you wrong! You stupid son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Normality, I love it. (laughs) So good. (laughs) All right, that's episode 82 of Get Into Gate 2010. What an episode. Thank you. You come, it's done, and we now look forward to next week. Mm. Absolute power on the next Stargate SG-1. On the next Stargate SG-1. Beware of strangers bearing gifts. (laughs) What happened with the kid in there? I asked him for something. And I think he gave it to me. Oh. Because a little <laughs> knowledge can be a dangerous thing and absolute power. He's not going to do anything to power. jeopardize the entire planet. Could corrupt, absolutely. Oh, you think this is some thing. elaborate rule plot to get me to destroy the world? Richard Dean Anderson stars. Don't. On the next Stargate SG-1. I don't like the episodes where Jack and Daniel fight. It's every week. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out all of our old podcasts uh, on any podcasting outlet, whatever your favourite is. Just search Get Into Gate, a Stargate podcast. Like, share, subscribe on our social pages. Keep in touch. Get Into Gate, a Stargate podcast. Mm. And drop us a line, Get Into Gate at gmail.com. You can join the show, be part of the show, contribute to the show, and also get exclusive stuff behind the scenes at yeah. patreon.com forward slash I'll give you 2010 gates. reasons to jump on Patreon. So, oh, Jesus. You want to come Give along? me 2010 reasons. <laughs> I need Sounds of the know. gate. <laughs> Otherwise, you can uh, check us out uh, individually if you want to hit us up uh, one at a time. And who doesn't? I'm Mitch underscore Lewis on Twitter and Instagram. Maddie. At High Pitch Maddie. Brendan. At the Brendan Gibson. At Reese. the Brendan Gibson. At the Brendan. I had to change it. Yeah, don't, don't follow the, the Brendan Brain Gibson. No, no. Uh, He's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I am at the Flying Gibson. And Lincoln at Lewis. At Link l- underscore Lewis. Jesus, can I get it right for a chance? That's all right. It's only your name. You'll get there eventually. <laughs>
<laughs> you don't need the extra followers. Thank you. <laughs> You're doing just fine. Thank you. Get into geek.com.